Hey, hey, hello from sunny Warwick. We've finally made Queensland. it across the border, Woo Queensland. Aniella wanted to say, say hi. hi. Here she hi. is. Thanks, <laughs> Good sweetheart. on you, Aniella. Awesome We're at a, stuff. at a skate park in Warwick in front of this beautiful river. I don't even know what this is, but it's absolutely gorgeous here. And we thought, what better place to be doing our live from today? Uh, on the road. Uh, and yeah, if you remember yesterday, it's almost the exact opposite kind of location, right? Yesterday we were on a main street, uh, we were in front of a swimming pool. What you didn't see is that I actually went for a swim in that pool after <laughs> after we finished the live. Move the ice blocks away. Oh my goodness, it was so cold. I've never swum in such cold water in my life. And our kids were in there for a good, probably what, 45 minutes? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe crazy, it. I lasted crazy, about 45 stuff. seconds it before insane. I jumped out. It was amazing. Today what we thought we'd share a little bit about, yesterday we were talking about my backstory and how I got into massage and why I do what I do. And I thought today we might share about how James yeah. came into the business. Which is great, because it's in the book as well. Exactly, it's part of our story. Part of the reason why we do what we do. Uh, leisha has got that fantastic background running a massage clinic, 16 years, plus her own sort of personal history with massage, loving it, becoming the therapist and growing a business. My background is that I ran a digital marketing agency for 13 years, and although it's a totally different industry, the story is sort of the same. I started because I was good with the hands-on, but instead of this kind of hands-on, it's this kind of hands-on. <laughs> uh, it was really great coding, graphics, writing. I'd studied uh, journalism and literature as part of a communications degree, so I kind of fell into web design because there was a lot of demand for it and I really liked it. And I grew a small team around me over, yeah, 13 years, uh, supported us, great little business, a lot of really loyal clients, a lot of small business work, hundreds of small business clients every year, as well as a handful of much bigger businesses, much bigger contracts that came through as well. But really, where the story starts to get more interesting, especially for you guys in the context of this, is mid-2016. It was August or September 2016, August it might have been. And I was on a trip uh, with a few people from my church visiting some of our sponsor kids in Indonesia. Now at this point, Leisha and I were sponsoring, what, three or four kids? I can't remember, four it might have been, just personally. We'd gathered a few over time. And uh, some people from our church were going over to visit a bunch of them that were all in one area in Manado in Indonesia. And I went over on this trip, absolutely amazing trip. Manado. Uh, is a city, but it's a remote Indonesian city. So very, very little Western, uh, well, visible, very little visible Western influence there. The people in the projects where Compassion, the, the uh, agency we sponsor through, Compassion is a locally run organization. So there's no Westerners even involved in Compassion. They're all locals, sort of funded through sponsorship, uh, but it's all locals. A lot of them even volunteer. Uh, there's usually one or two paid people in every project. Everybody else is volunteers from either the same town, the same city, or from other places in Indonesia. They actually give up their time and their, their livelihoods to go and uh, volunteer for a year or two at these projects. It was just amazing to be there, surrounded by these people that have such a caring heart, such a giving heart, and making such a difference. That's what I really found, is I was totally just blown away by how much these people loved what they did, so happy, and what they were doing was making a, a change in an entire generation of young people because those kids that live in poverty and I actually got to go visit uh, my kids house I got to go into the home invited in by the mum uh, the dad wasn't there that day uh, he's present but he was working and and uh, our sponsor child and her sister were there very poor just like dirt floor little tin shack thing no power no nothing there's no water or anything they just sort of live in this little valley out of the edge of the city uh, almost, yeah, between the edge of the city and the jungle, there's just like this shanty place. And what I found though was going in there, these people are fairly happy, they're fairly docile. They, in this area in particular, the poverty is not so much about food. They do get work, but they get paid about a dollar for a day's work, and that's enough to buy some rice, <laughs> you know? So they, they eat, the kids are happy, um, but they've got no future. They've got no possibility to do anything else after that because they can't attend school if they can't buy books and uniforms, although school itself is free. And even school there isn't really that good. It's not like school we have here. So the Compassion Projects are there to give them schooling, give them supplies so they can go to the government schools as well, and really to make their lives open to a much better opportunity in the future. I loved it. It was absolutely life-changing for me. At the same time, Leisha was at a conference, a business conference with some business coaches we had at the time. She was in Las Vegas. 
right? So I am in remote Indonesia working with these poor kids, seeing all these beautiful, gentle, amazing, heart-centered, compassionate <laughs> souls. Lisha is in Las Vegas. Skydiving. Yes, yeah, skydiving, going on fast young rides. People, it's, like, it's just like the middle of the desert, all these people. It was crazy. Not their group, of course, but you know what Las Vegas is like gambling, who knows what yeah. else is going on, right? And I'm literally, I remember one morning in the hotel that we had, uh, about to go out for the day on the minibus to see these projects, and I'm looking at a video of Alicia skydiving in Las Vegas, and I'm like, we are just at opposite ends of the earth right now, like in every sense possible, yeah, geographic, yeah, yeah. financial, just everything is just totally different. Yep. And when we got back, it's like we both had these amazingly powerful experiences, but at opposite ends of the spectrum. And I remember coming back and just saying to Leash, like the first day I got back to my work, I'd been away for eight or nine days, get back to work. Now I love my job, my, my business that I ran, it was great, right? I loved it. But I remember just sitting there and getting back and having so many emails to deal with and just spending a whole day basically getting back into work, replying to all these emails, connecting with all my clients and staff and that sort of stuff. And just thinking, oh my goodness, after being out in the field with these amazing people and kids, sitting at a desk for eight hours typing emails just seemed so flat and lifeless. And I was in a business that did connect. It's not like it was a terrible job. I actually loved it. But it wasn't as heart-centered. It wasn't as impacting for people, for that personal heart connection between real human beings. It wasn't like that. It was a lot of digital work. And it was really at that point, Leash was just pumped up. Ben I was to ready to take over ready the world. Ready to take over the world. I was like, and I'm, I'm going like, to do this. It's going to be amazing. Let's sell everything and just move to remote Indonesia and work with poor kids. Like, this is what I'm like, <laughs> wow, I've been so inspired in the opposite direction. And really, it was a, it was a massive decision for me. But I decided at that point to move into Massage Champions full time, into this, into working with massage therapists heart to heart. It's a much closer connection that we get to have with you guys in this business. We get to work with some amazing people and make a huge difference in people's lives. And I guess I didn't feel that as closely in my old business. It was much more functional. This one, I get to feel like we're making an impact in people, in real people, families, mums with kids, dads supporting their families, uh, and the industry as a whole needs this, right? It's something that is so needed and there's such a huge opportunity to be able to help so many people here. And that's really where my background has been coming into this business. Uh, I had also done some teaching. I worked for a few years um, just part-time casual as a TAFE teacher. So I had that background. I'd already been doing some of the training in, it was still Leisha's business right at the start, but I was doing some of the training uh, to do with marketing and the more tech sort of stuff. Mm. So stepping into it was a logical step. It was a massive decision, but it was so fabulous. And I have absolutely loved the opportunities that I have since then. So many people we've been able to connect with. I feel like I'm helping so many people. The book is just another uh, another way that we're expressing that, and even this tour. Mm. I was saying to Leash, you know, some venues, we're getting great numbers and a heap of really good interaction. Other places are small towns. There's just not as many therapists there, and it's small rooms. But I feel like this is what we were born to do. We're born to travel around and show people what can happen, what the opportunities are. And it's simple. It's not necessarily easy to get everything right, but the simple things that make the biggest difference are easy for us to be able to show people and we make a huge impact wherever we go. So I really love it. I, I just am so grateful for the opportunity from Leash, from the business and from the amazing uh, community that I get to be part of now. I do feel like I am becoming part of the massage community despite never having uh, been trained in massage you itself. You do give a killer foot massage though. Like well, killer foot and well, yeah, I'm the only one who experiences that. So yeah, that's no, right. Point. I wasn't going to put that out there. <laughs> that's why people be like, <laughs> just hey, Jay. No, and one thing to you know to add, like in this story is that when James said I want to sell everything and go move to Indo, my response was like, that's not happening. Like I'm going to take over the world. We're I not wasn't selling really everything. that serious. It was just what was on my heart at the time. Yeah. However, what we did choose to do was to sponsor a child for every one of our oh, core yeah, clients that to we work with. That. Yeah. So we now currently sponsor 43 children. Through the business. In the last 18 months, we've grown yeah. it by 40 kids that we yeah. sponsor every month uh, in three different projects throughout Monado and throughout remote, in remote Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. And that's an absolutely amazing way for us to be able to connect mm. these passions together. Mm. Because when you look at it, it's a, it's a very similar sort of thing. We're yeah. taking kids that 
just um, don't have opportunity and giving them an opportunity to grow into a better life, to be mm. adults that have choice, mm. that have options about where they work, what they earn, what they do. Mm. And it's actually kind of the same with the massage therapy industry. Yeah. It's not the same level of poverty or anything, I don't mean that, but what I mean is sometimes people just don't know what they don't know. Yeah. They're stuck in a place where they just haven't had the training. Massage school isn't business school. Yeah. So people learn the hands-on skills and just don't know the steps that can take them into bigger opportunities and a better future and I kind of feel like we do the same thing yeah. it's like we give training to you guys and show you how this works yep. and then we give uh, money to support training and education for these kids in Indonesia as well and it does such actually an shift privilege. the health of communities I mean it that's does, really yeah. the purpose of massage if you listen to my backstory yesterday massage helps people feel more healthier it helps them be more healthier they take less sick days if they're looking after themselves and you know it's a bunch of research that's gone into that and it's the same with Compassion Australia. They are actually, you know, impacting the health of the community yeah. in that they are teaching these kids. And what my favorite stories are, I mean, Compassion was started in South Korea, which no longer has a child sponsorship program because of the impact that it's made. Yeah, they now sponsor kids in other countries because instead of needing they don't sponsorship need it. Themselves. And I love that. Often we see that there's so much need, 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 and we don't often hear that what we're doing is actually changing and shifting things. It is making a huge And then to hear the stories, I know when James went for dinner with some of the uh, people who are at university who've gone through the Compassion Project, mm. to hear them and hear their story of hope, you know, when they were living on a dollar a day, like James said, they, they never worried about food because food was always there, but there was no hope. Even there was going no... to school would be a struggle at that yeah. level, let alone university. And so the fact that they're like, I want to go and learn this and bring it back to my community, yeah. it's just, it really, it gets me they've super fired up. They've all got heart. It's yeah. so amazing. Yeah, and really they, amazing. They, they, even though they've been sponsored, they now want to impact their community. And that's what we love. It's about, it is about being the gift. Passing the impact on. And yeah. it's exactly the same with massage therapists. If we can show you guys how to run a sustainable business and how to become, um, what's the word? Consistent in your business and be able to run that long term and impact the community. Yeah. That flow on effect happens as well. Yeah. It's, it's you health, have more it's leverage. Joy. The more wealth we create, the more money we collect, the more impact we actually get to have on our world and on our community. Yeah. And that's what we're all about. It's about really helping people become the best version of them and discovering what is your purpose and how do you create that more in your life. That's what seriously gets us so both so ridiculously fired up. And that's why I love and we clients message us in to say you know we've had this great breakthrough or you know I've just had my first fully booked week or whatever it's like yeah. or when someone sends me a selfie of them with their family at an airport you yeah. know they're going on an yeah. overseas holiday or they're going flying for the first time as a family I'm like I get super juiced by that I get super excited because that is living on purpose that is living the purpose that we are uh, you know that we had all the experiences we did the good the bad the ugly and the yeah. challenges over 16 years to then grow a great business learn a bunch of stuff and be able to actually impact that so that you guys can impact your community even more. Yeah, love it. And it's been awesome having you it on board, fantastic. James, for the last 18 months. One last thing it. before we go, I wanted to mention, for you guys that are watching this today, watching it live, tonight, Brisbane, sold out. The first one on this tour where we Woo literally hit the limit of the room. We even rang them and said, can we sneak a few more in? And they said, just a few. But we've even reached that limit. Yep. So if you are in Brisbane and you want to come along, booking for the Gold Coast, there's still a few places left in that. I know it's not that close, but it's yeah, going to be something. awesome. So come along if you're... Uh, if you're in that direction, it would be awesome to see you there. Love it. Have an absolutely Cheers. sensational day, guys. Take care. See ya.